Dear Canada, If I go to the store and want to buy a bag of chips, on the label it says $3.69, but after I go through the gas register, the price magically becomes $3.87. What's up with that? Why isn't the full price included on the label in the first place? Hey, my name is Olar. I'm coming from Europe. It is a little surprising that the tax is not included in the price labels. But I'm also new to Canada, which makes me wonder how the Canadians feel about it. You find annoying that the sales tax is not included on the price labels in the stores. Mm. Yeah, definitely. No. I prefer to know what I'm playing for the product and the sales tax above it. Yes, it is. I don't think about it. It should be on the label as far as I'm concerned. Because some products are non-taxable. I'd say the only thing about sales tax that's annoying is when we voted out the uh, HST. We, uh, we still kept it on vehicle tax. Kind of, not really. It doesn't really affect me because I'm Aboriginal, right? So certain places I don't have to pay for tax. But I guess for other people it is a pain in the ass. Sometimes yes, yeah. Because it's not included and you're confused sometimes, right? And sometimes money's short for you. So yeah, I, I wish they could include it. No, I've lived in countries where they have the VAT, they call it, all included. And I actually think it's okay to have it this way. Do you know why the sales tax is not included in the prices? Like why the shops don't include? Don't it's include. probably easier bookkeeping for them. I have no idea. I don't know. I have no idea. Yeah. I'm actually not too sure about that. So, why don't the stores include it? I've never seen it in my whole life. I've grown up here my whole life. No one does it. I had to Google it to see if you could even legally include the sales tax, which you can, it turns out, but again, I don't know why I would want to be the only place in town that does that. Uh, I would have to put like a big sign or something explaining to customers. <clears throat> it looks like we're more expensive. One September comes along and the government says, hey, we're going to tax all of sugary beverages different tax rate. We're going to include them in GST. Let's say that affected 5,000 items. On a software level, that's pretty easy to do. But now if we were to have that in the tickets, that's where things get complicated and costly. We would have to do a print run of 5,000 new tickets, print them all out, separate each single ticket, and pay someone to put 5,000 new tickets up. Given BC's current labor cost, that would cost the store, the retailer, probably over $1,000 just for that. Sometimes what happens as well is the government goes, they walk back on some of their policy changes. So three months later, if that tax was repealed on the sugary beverages, I might have to then pay someone again to put 5,000 new price tickets up. Uh, that's just one example of sugary drinks. The ongoing nightmare in labor cost and logistical changes would be unmanageable in today's competitive environment in BC. So let's see what the law says. Well, that makes sense from the store's perspective. However, the real reason uh, that they don't have it in, there's a, a breakdown of constitutional powers between the federal and provincial government, where the provinces have the power to issue a direct tax, which is a tax on the people, whereas the federal government has the power to issue a direct or an indirect tax. So a direct tax, again, on people, indirect tax, a tax on things. The provinces, constitutionally as well, has the power to regulate prices and how they're displayed in the provinces. Therefore, the split means that provinces can only generally issue a tax above the price, because that's a tax on the people, and they get to control how things are labeled. Where the federal government gets to issue a tax on things, but can't control how things are labeled. Therefore, because the two haven't been able to work together to combine their constitutional duties, we're not required to display the taxes in the price label. Considering all the facts, I still think it's frustrating. I'd rather know beforehand exactly how much I'm going to pay for something. But then again, I am in a new country. And one of the fun things of being in a new country is that the things are going to be different. So maybe it's just something I have to get used to. But what do you think? 
do you prefer the sales tax to be included in the price label or it doesn't matter thank you very much for watching if you like it subscribe and to all the nice things and yeah that's it see you later